All right, here's Kayla Edwards through to the final. Yes. How's everything feeling? Good. This is what we came here to do. I mean, getting to the final is a big deal because it's my first outdoor final in a minute. So I'm feeling good. What did you think of the race and how everything played out? Um, I don't know. I kind of just tried not to think and just react and race. Um, I feel like I had to run on the outside a lot, but I felt like I would have rather run on the outside than get kind of clobbered up because we were like already two, just past 200. We were all like falling over each other already. So I mostly just worried about staying out of trouble and then just doing what I needed to do to get those top three spots. Did you think about taking the lead at some point um, in that mess? I like it. I guess that's like always an easy thing to do, but it's not where I wanted to be. So I just did try to make the best decision so that wouldn't be the case but where I stayed out of trouble. What will coach say about your tactics and the way you ran? I think he'll be pretty pleased um, with it because we've been talking tactics a lot so I mean I hope he's happy but he has been happy in the past two uh, like the past rounds so I think he'll be good. Just looking at the context of your whole career where you're at I would say you're you know you've been on the pro scene for a little bit now what does it mean to make this final? Uh, it means everything. I mean, it's a, been a really rough past like four years with just so many things happening in health and life that like, I don't know, it just feels like such a big deal. And it's something that, you know, I was, wish I was at the point where it's just like fine, getting to the finals, the, the easy part. Um, but, you know, every, I'm just like looking at this year as an opportunity to kind of change the trajectory of my career, even though I've been a pro for a while, I still have time to make an impact on my career. So what's going different, like what's happening behind the scenes differently this year that suddenly things are really clicking? I think Chad's definitely figured out the system of our training and I just, luckily under him, I've been able to stay really healthy. I mean, besides getting the Graves disease as a result of COVID, uh, he's really honed in on a good system system and just the advantage of is being together 24 7 so we can like communicate about things and we can really see what's going on with me my body's response to training and I think all of those things combined are just allowing us to really have some success that we've like known we can uh, have and like show the world but now is finally the opportunity to really do it what has to go right now in the final in order for you to be on that team um, I mean, I feel like it's really up to me. Chad's done everything and and he's taught me everything to succeed. So just gotta be tough, run smart, and probably run the best race of my life, which I think the championships is always a good opportunity for that. You see that all the time, especially in the women's 800. So yeah, just run hard, be smart. Great, congratulations. See you a couple days. Yep, see ya.